Welcome back to the channel. I'm Zuko the Flame Friends back with another video and in this one I'll be starting out my dive into Nas's discography. I did a poll a couple weeks back, close to a month back at this point, on which other rappers discographies I should dive into and Nas won that poll. So I'm gonna be doing that. Now I'm not gonna be going in chronological order with his like I did with my Eminem one. I'm just gonna listen to the albums in any random order. Mainly because I've tried listening to Illmatic before and tried doing like a reaction for it like years back at that point and I got bored so I don't wanna start off on the wrong foot especially too as far as the viewers are concerned so I decided what I'm going to do is I'll start with Magic just because it seems like the most digestible one it's only nine songs long it won't be that much investment on my side I start with Magic and then I plan to do Magic 2 and then Magic 3 then after that I'll go into the King's Disease uh, trilogy but beyond that you guys can like recommend which albums you guys want me to tap into uh, thereafter I'm obviously a person who believes uh, Jay-Z to be the greatest rapper of all time right but that's also with the added caveats that I haven't listened to every other contenders album so part of me doing this is just so I can have a more of a basis <laughs> To see if that if that statement holds up or not and uh, Nas is basically the he's many people's greatest rapper of all time and I think anyone who thinks Nas is the, is the greatest even though I may disagree it's not like I'll, I'll think you're wrong or anything anyway that's enough yapping on my side let's jump into the first track on Nas's magic this one is titled speechless so without any further ado let's jump right in <laughs>
so that was the first song, uh, Speechless. I'm going to go back now and go through the lyrics, but the gist I got from it was also in keeping with the theme of, well, I don't actually know what the concept magic is, but if I'm going to now guess based on the first song, rap is basically, or, or hip hop is the magic because it allowed him to almost like, like alchemy, I guess change one situation into another i'll go back i don't want to go through the verse immediately but he he started off with uh how he's made it past the 27th club and like the first verse and all that stuff and then in the in the second verse it was more so uh, like rags to bitches uh rags to riches and he talked about how black people shouldn't be plotting on their brothers hitting on someone else just because they got it instead you guys should uh align yourselves and then try to spread outwards in terms of like influence and getting your money up and everything so i'll just go back through the verses now see if there's any like bars that stick out to me and everything <laughs> And I wonder if he's talking about Ain't this, no looking at hip hop. Like he doesn't understand how hip hop got to this place, maybe. I'll some shit out there, yeah. years past the 27 club it's like i went back into my past and then i sped it up robert johnson winehouse and morris and found what heaven was heaven on earth this shit is magic with no fairy dust home of the gully gates and the gruesome and the scary stuff i told my brother jump up and they gonna go through hell with us 27's club is obviously it's a conspiracy theory that people who like join the illuminati they sign their life away and part of that contractual clause is that you die young heaven and earth the shit is magic with no fairy dust so i don't know if he's talking about the game but i think fer fairy dust can also be a euphemism for like drugs i'm not sure which one <laughs> um also i'm on genius and i'm just looking at how bare bones the annotations on nas's music is you, you guys need to <laughs> because nas is very is very much a a studious rapper and nas fans i just assume tend to be more studious and more smarter just generally right that, that's the perception I get from them anyway. I feel like you guys should do a better job annotating your guys' your, your guys lyrics. Anyway, so the whole point I was trying to get to is I think he could be talking about, like, fairy dust, obviously, the whole fake connection that's, like, magic and fantasy. But then he could be talking about, like, drugs and the rap game. That's why it's, like, gully, gangster, gruesome, the scariest. Well, the rap game, but then also, like, the hood, like, Black America as well. I think that's possibly what it could be going for there. I'm 21 years past the 27 club. It's like I went back into my past and then I sped it up. Robert Johnson, Winehouse, and Morris and found where heaven was. Heaven on earth, this shit is magic with no fairy dust. Home of the gully gates and the gruesome and the scary stuff. I told my brother, jump up and they gon' go through hell with us. They don't have a history in the streets that can bear with us. Hood niggas, they wanna be us. Thugs in the same region, so only thing undefeated is time. Second is the internet, number three is the scribe. Security, my dog had uh, this is from two years ago. I didn't know how recently he said that line. The internet remaining undefeated is one of the just well, it's it's one of the taglines of the internet for sure. Like just people who are online because the internet is forever. So that's part of why it remains undefeated. And I'd I'd seen someone reference. I may have been watching one. I think uh, what's it? According to hip hop, one one of the hip hop podcasts online, and they referenced this line. The only thing undefeated is time. The second is the internet. Number three is this rhyme. Based on my understanding of that, uh, the internet remains undefeated. It's because the internet is forever. Time, albeit a social construct, is also forever. So, and he says number three is this rhyme. What I'm guessing he's implying there, obviously I could be wrong, but what he's implying there is that basically this rap is going to live forever, i.e. it's classic or it's timeless. I told my brother jump up and they gon' go through hell with us They don't have a history in the streets that can bear with us Hood niggas, they wanna be us Thugs in the same region, so only thing undefeated is time Second is the internet, number three is the shrine Before security, my dog had to sneak in the nine God must be on my side, I had to eat and provide My winning streak is divine I told God, leave the streets are behind Don't let them hype you with slow run beats, cheating the grind Dog, I'm telling it like it is You gotta deal with the consequence When you running the niggas trims, nigga, you better be ready to now that's dope so that's another thing that lends to my i guess 
interpretation of the concept of like going from rags to riches. He says before security, because he paints the picture of uh, before and after. Uh, before security, my dog had to sneak in the night. Basically, his homes were security. Basically, when they're on the come up, God must be on my side because of how I, I turned my life around. This shit must be magic. I had to eat and provide. My winning streak is divine. I told Dan, which I'm gonna assume is one of his people, leave the street shit behind, rags. Don't let him hype you. A slow run beats cheating the grind. Now, it's a pretty self explanatory bar, but the idea of being on the grind, like a long term hustle, more than getting uh, quick money, which can disappear just as quickly as it came. Uh, dog, I'm telling it like it is. You gotta deal with the consequence when you're running a nigga's crib. Nigga, you better be ready to sit. So, in, in the context of what he's rapping about, uh, a slow run uh, beats cheating the grind. Cheating the grind is not working for what you have instead, as it says in the next lines, going into someone's house and robbing them and taking someone else's possessions. That's basically cheating the grind because you didn't work for what you now have. You literally just robbed it off someone. And the consequence of that is if you run into someone's home, be ready to sit, which could be like sitting in jail because you, you could get arrested. But also, if you get sad, like someone could shoot you and then you, you die there, is, is my interpretation of that line anyway. So it's, 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 it's a kind of like a... It's anti-crime, I guess. I don't know how else to put it. Running over my words now. I told you I leave the street shit behind. Don't let them hide you with slow run beats, cheating the grind. Dog, I'm telling it like it is. You gotta deal with the consequence when you running the niggas cribs. Nigga, you better be ready to sit. No dealers, street hustlers, pop cases, throw dice, all payment, cop chases, big gamblers, scullies. Then this ties in. Gang wars, hot spots, police raided. The, the chorus then ties into what I think he was talking about in this verse. Cause then he's talking about all these different aspects of crime in like the hood and stuff. Dog, I'm telling it like it is. You gotta deal with the consequence when you run in the niggas cribs, nigga. You better be ready to sit. No dealers, street hustlers, pop cases, throw dice on pavement, cop chases, big gamblers, scullies, high faces, gang wars, hot spots, police raided, left them speechless. And if I could just shoehorn in <laughs> how I think this relates to the concept of this album, these things that he is rapping about, which are still prevalent, I assume, in Black America, right? This is also the same environments that he grew like around. This is what he was surrounded by, and he went on to be this great MC, one of the greatest rappers, if not the greatest rapper of all time. He's kind of trying to tell people to, I guess, not be products of your environment as much. Though I, I could be reaching on that front, but that's sort of the interpretation of this album that I have at the moment. I could be wrong. Pick the down on this luck rap of Betty Broker, the arrogance of a crackhead, mad at a weed smoker, or a pill taker who hated to steal wine drinker, a killer who used a gun to hate on a knife swinger. I I get it. It's who the latest win competition. Y'all did it first to be the death. I got a proper. Uh, that, that reminds me of a. Uh... Those lines made me think of the what you eat don't make me shit, who you fuck won't make me come, put a price on my head won't make me run. J. Cole, right? But it's also Jay Z said that line before, I think it's on Blueprint 2 somewhere. It would be like a basketball player being mad at a football player for something who's mad at a baseball player for something else. It's like the arrogance of a crackhead mad at a weed smoker or a pill taker who hate distilled wine drink. It's like all these people with their own problems, right? One's addicted to drugs, one's addicted to weed, one's addicted to popping pills, one's addicted to... is an alcoholic. A killer who uses a gun to hate on a knife swinger. It's like people who are basically all have their own problems, but rather than <laughs> tending to that, they're going to complain about someone else's and the problems that are plaguing them, essentially is how I'm going to... How I could explain that. I I get it. It's who the latest win competition. Y'all did it first to be the death. I got a proposition. You and your brother stop plotting on each other. Plot on millions. Educate yourself. Find to different areas of inch. Yeah, like stop hating on on your brother trying to. Well, that's not what the earlier bars were. But his point is, stop hating on each other and work to build yourselves up. Essentially. Which can be done through unifying instead of plotting on each other. Spread your bets out. Double down on what's working, then you double up. Hands on your paper, they send the hate no matter what you touch. Honestly, I'm speechless, plotting. Hands on your paper, they send the hate no matter what you touch. Honestly, I'm speechless, which is the name of the song. He also name dropped the album earlier on. But he's basically, well, he goes on in the rest of us, but for now, it seems like he's speechless because of all the hating on each other that's going on within the black community. That's my 
That's how I'm interpreting those bars. Honestly, I'm speechless. Slot of grease, 20 pointers on a chain. I freaked it. Long chair in the hood, sitting comfortably. I must be insane, giving you bars, running companies. I'm done with the redundancy. Checking on my history, making content for buying com, lights and music to Tiffany's. I come from dope dealers, street hustlers, pop cases. But then also tying uh, the how this would fit into the album. And to the message I was saying, he's also speechless because all the negativity he's, he's trying to get people to stop that he's like calling out, he comes from that. So he's speechless how he went from that to flying to Greece, 20 pointers on the chain. I don't know if pointers is grands. 20 pointers on the chain. Now he's got a long chain in the hood. He's, li he's living comfortably. He must be insane giving you bars while running companies because he's, he's made it out the hood, quote unquote. Making content for Viacom, which is like a big uh, media company. Licensed music to Tiffany's. Again, I, I could be reaching based on what I think he means with a lot of these, but these reasons seem to make sense to me anyway. You guys will correct me anyway if I'm wrong in the in the comment section. Rags to Riches, like, that's just the summation of this whole song. Because look at where he is now. He's making content for Viacom, licensing music to Tiffany's, but he comes from dope dealers, street hustlers, pop cases, essentially. Double down on what's working, then you double up. Hands on your paper, they send the hate no matter what you touch. Honestly, I'm Slot of grease, 20 pointers on a chain, I freaked it Long chair in the hood, sitting comfortably I must be insane, giving you bars, running companies I'm done with the redundancies Checking on my history, making content for buying Com, lights and music to Tiffany's I come from dope dealers, street hustlers, pop cases Throw dice, all pavement, cop chases Big gamblers, scullies, high cases Gang wars, hot spots, police raided Left them speechless Just like when the judge read the sentence for your life away